Okay, Bismillah. Okay, guys. For today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to rename, edit, modify, delete, and change color of a multi-boot USB that created a twin setup from USB software. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. So, step one. Adding program and renaming a uh, UEFI boot manager window. But uh, before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. First, adding program utilities to USB disk for UEFI mode boot manager. So adding program utilities to UEFI boot manager using that ISO files. So this mode also work for uh, legacy or latest PC and not for PC that designed for uh, Windows XP and add an older. In other words, the PC that too much old. Now demonstration how to add uh, program utilities to UEFI boot manager. Okay, just follow what I did. The file must be ISO format. You can rename if you want. Okay, this is now the at port. You set uh, your BIOS to legacy mode. This uh, QGRAB for this will appear. Then, if you select this entry, uh, Windows NT6, Vista, slash 7, and above, you will be directed to the UEFI boot manager. Then, if you select this entry, uh, boot first internal desk, so you will be directed to boot up on the drive C window system okay the second let's download third party software just click the link in the description below click download and click ok Then click open containing folder. Then extract it using Windows or 7 Chef. Okay, third. Uh, renaming, editing or deleting program utilities for UEFI mode boot manager, doors or block mode. Now, insert your uh, bootable uh, USD drive that you created from WinSetup from USB software. Then, open ECBCD portable uh, folder that you are downloaded. Then, click ECBCD.exe file. Then, click Go. Then click OK. Then click File Menu. Then click Busy Store. Now select your USB drive bootable. Then select Boot Folder. Then click BCD File. Now select entry menu you want to modify or rename or delete or up or up or down. Then click save settings. Step 2. Adding program and renaming legacy group for those both menu. First, 
adding program utilities to USB disk for legacy mode, grab for those boot manager. Adding program utilities to legacy grab for those boot manager using ISO files for legacy mode only. Demonstration on how to add the program utilities to legacy grab for those boot manager. So just uh, follow what I did. Okay, browse to your ISO file, then go. This is now the output. Okay, uh, second, uh, renaming, editing, or deleting uh, program utilities for legacy mode, grab for those boot manager. Now insert your bootable USB drive that you created from when set up from USB software. Now uh, open your bootable USB drive that created. Then, for the first time, right click menu.lst file. Then click open with, then click notepad. Now you can rename the entry except the word title. As you can see what I did. Then go to file menu and click save. Done, alhamdulillah. Step 3 or last step. Changing color of a QMU or chemo. Grab for those boot manager. This is the default color. To check the display of chemo grab for those window. Open the win setup from USB software. Then check test key AMU or click go. Okay, this is the default color now. And we will change this one. So open your bootable UT drive. Then for the first time, right click menu.lst, then click open web, then click notepad. But if you want, back up or copy or and paste the menu.lst as what I did because if you make mistake, you can easily back it up. You can easily back it to default setting.
now right click window that listed then click open web then click notepad now you can edit the text color black slash cyan yellow slash cyan this is the default original color made by the programmer now you can edit the text color black color black cyan yellow and cyan to other color you want to that's what i did to test close the chemo window then reopen again Okay, so as we can see, the background color become red color. Thank you for watching. So if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.